Every day, joggers along the Monon Trail in Broad Ripple. It's a New York Central caboose. Are passing a piece of history. It's the NYC Lakeshore model uh, 19-0008. The 117-year-old train car once ran up and down the Monon line until it got sidetracked here nearly 50 years ago and stayed. Kevin Worcester is its new owner, but he's not sure how much longer. That the city wanted this thing out of here on uh, May 31st. They just want this out of here. I don't really, I couldn't really give you an honest answer of what they'll do with it because we don't know. It's a stalemate six years in the making. See, this caboose sits on city owned property. The city terminated the lease back in 2015. The old owner donated the caboose to Kevin Worcester earlier this month, hoping he might be able to convince the city to give him more time. This is the 9.5 pH Kangen water. Or to let him stay and run his nonprofit juice bar and alkaline water business. But he says the city is moving full steam ahead. I asked them for more time. They're not, uh, they're not willing to even give me more time. In an email, a spokesperson for Indy Park said lease payments haven't been made since 2014, and both the previous owner and Kevin Worcester were warned the city will take possession of the caboose if it isn't moved by the end of the month. They say Indy Parks will continue to evaluate future uses for the space. Kevin says he's asking for help, but so far, no luck. Nobody sees the value in it. Um, and the, the, only, the only way I see value in this is to stay right here in the heart of Broad Ripple, um, where 95 or more percent of the people that I talk to don't want it to go anywhere. As for its longtime home along this running trail, time appears to be running out. Now that original lease payment was $1,800 a year. We were able to reach the previous owner of the caboose who told us that he tried for six years to negotiate a deal with the city, but was never able to come to an agreement.